it's me, Renee, I'm back. So today I'm here for my August wrap up. <laughs> yeah, I know the second week of September, but um, yeah, it's how it's kind of just flown by and I haven't really done it before now. I felt like, yeah, should do this now before it's too late. It's never too late. I mean, sometimes you just have a have a uh, a late wrap up and that happens. But yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, just a little asterisk, I won't be talking about all the books I read in August, because at the end of August I did a history challenge readathon, and the books I read for that I had in its own video, in a vlog I did, I did for that one. So if you want to know what I read in the last week of August, <clears throat> last two weeks, check out those. Uh, though some of these books I'm going to talk about, they work for that, but they aren't uh, in that category. Like the aunt books I read during that time. So, <coughs> first I have Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. I read this just in the beginning of August, actually. I think it was like the 8th or like 9th, actually. 8th, 9th, remember the 10th? Yeah, so stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, I very much enjoy this. It was just, it's very fun and summery and very good. And, uh, it's predict predictable, yeah, but it's still very enjoyable and fun, and it's not long, so it's not it's worth, yeah. So it's very good for like a short, fast, fun summer read. And I read it one of the last days in August here that was like sunny. Well, one of the last one of the beginning of the last that was sunny, and yeah, so it fit very much like with the weather and stuff. And yeah, normally I don't really think like I should pick out a book about summer if it's summer, but sometimes like. That day I felt like, you know what, I want to read something summary. So I put, so I picked those, this one up, and yeah, I highly enjoyed it. Very good. Very good book. It's a book about a girl who's uh, shy, and she has to do a podcast through her school, and through a podcast she goes out of her shell, and yeah, it's a very fun, enjoyable read. Definitely check it out. And yeah, let's get to the only book I'll just show you. Because the rest of the books are either, <clears throat> sorry, either audio books or, uh, or library books. Though I'm um, lying to you, I have. Wait for me. I thought I had one of them over here. A moment. But I can't find it, so yeah, you're just gonna see me, my beautiful face, and I'm just gonna talk about the books. And I'll, yeah, I'll link them all in the video. Don't worry about that. So the next woman, uh, next woman, <laughs> the next book I read was The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson. It came out last spring. It's, uh, Fictionalized, well, it's a non, non fiction, it's a fiction book, but based on real events. It's based around uh, the the librarians in Kentucky who went horseback riding. A lot of people think, like, when they think immediately of The Giver of Stars by Jonah Moyes, but it's actually it's other books written about the subject. Written about the subject. This one, uh, it takes place in a different part of Kentucky. And it also focuses more on family than on friendship. And I would say it's a bit more heavy handed, a bit more deeper in a way. Yeah, it's a bit deeper. It goes a bit more in depth, really. And it's also actually, actually about blue people, blue skinned people. Yeah, it's not science fiction, it's actually true. A link stuff in the blue to, to, to prove that. And yeah, that book was very interesting, very good. It was, as I said, hard hitting, but still good. And it wasn't like it had some light uh, moments of levity now and then as well. And yeah, it's a very good book. I listened to the audio book and I very much enjoyed it. I feel like this one, that one should get just, just as much attention as The Giver of Stars. Definitely, definitely. And yeah, <coughs> so. Anyway, let's move on. And next one I read was On Italian Summer by Carrie Staten. This one, I felt like it started good and then I kind of felt like I didn't really know what I wanted it to be. Did it want to be 
a humor fun book or did it want to be a sad serious book because like the tone was very strange like like sometimes it, it was funny and the next page it was sad and I suppose yeah books should be more than one thing but like this tone the tone of this book it just kind of confused me like it was like it wasn't really doing either in a good way really it wasn't it was trying to be funny now and then but it wasn't that funny it was trying to be romantic now and then wasn't that romantic it was trying to i suppose it was trying to be all the stuff but it wasn't anything really and uh yeah i think i ended up not giving it two stars so yeah then up next is yellow iris by agatha christie this is a short story by her uh, it's a short story and and it's uh it's uh it's an Urkel Poirot for short, short short story. I listened to an audiobook. It was very enjoyable, very fun. And yeah, highly enjoy highly recommend it. Check it out. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna take a bit of tea. I got a new cup on Sunday from my aunts. Very nice, isn't it? I really like it. And yeah. Um. So up next, I also read "Love from A to Z" by S. K. Ali. Uh, and that book I start. Uh, was not. It was not an audio book. I started it many weeks ago. Uh, but I kind of didn't end up finish it before like August. I think I started it back in July. Yeah, I started in July. But uh, yeah, uh, sometimes I just kind of read so many books at once, and some books just kind of get forgotten. And this book was kind of forgotten and not prioritized, pro and not prioritized. Uh, but yeah, I did end up like as I said, I finished it in August. Now, I did end up enjoying it. Can't say I loved it, but I very much enjoyed it. It was definitely worth the read. I would say that I learned more about the um, feminism and more about uh, more about Muslim by reading it, and also a bit about MS. And it was it was a good read. Yeah, it was a good read. <coughs> but <coughs> sorry, you might ah <coughs> hey, you might ask yourself, Renee. If you like all the aspects of the book, like if you like romance, if you like characters, if you like all this stuff, why didn't you love it? I'm not sure. I can't say I love the main character, but I didn't hate her. I can't really put my finger on what I didn't love about her. But I did like all, most of the characters, and I did like the story and plot and, and writing. So, I'm not really sure. Some mystery. Yeah, uh, let's move on. Then the next is Queen of Bowl by Meg Abbott. This was a reread. I listened to it on audiobook. It was, I mean, yeah, pretty sure it was like the first uh, day of August. So it was uh, August 1st and 2nd. And I very much enjoyed it. It was very fun to be back in that world. And I, I remember a lot of the books, a lot of the books, a lot of the plot lines from the book because I read it before. But uh, some of I was like, what? Did this happen? I was just to be completely by surprise, like what? So it's kind of fun to like, kind of fun to reread stuff because you often, at least for me, often I think like I remember all the stuff, but like I still want to reread it because I remember it all, all the plot lines being done well and very good. But this time, as I said, I forgot a lot of it. Like, why do I remember like six percent and four percent? I forgot. Like, why was there so much I forgot? I don't know. And like there's stuff I had uh, made different in my head and stuff, but yeah, it was still it was still enjoyable, very enjoyable. And uh, yeah, um, <coughs> sorry. Up next we have Theatrical by Maggie Hartcourt. This was also one of the first books I read in August. It's uh, a YA contemporary. It's set around the theater scene. It's set around a. Uh, 17 year old, yeah, 17 year old. Uh, she's doing an internship uh, in for, like through a school uh, with a with a, in a theater. So it's set all around the theater and like 
trying to uh, the rehearsals and stuff. So there's drama behind the scenes. She, there's a love story. There's uh, aspects with her parents, like like this, like conflict with her parents and stuff. And it's just done so so well. I just really really like it. I was about to say like I love all of her books, Maggie Harcourt. I can't really say I do really because I, I remember reading actually the first book that she had like years ago, The Last Summer Offs, and I actually DNF'd it. But the one she written after that one, that's actually a companion book to Theatrical. Uh, that's called Conventional. Unconventional, sorry, Unconventional. That one I really enjoy. So sometimes an author just kind of misses and then writes to hit it. Hit hit us. Hit it. Writes one miss and a lot of hit uh and many hits. And that's how it happens really. And yeah. And then uh, there's actually two DNFs, I'm just going to do them in one go. One of them is the Castle of the, sorry, the Daughters of Castle of the Verrill by uh, Montefiore, uh, by Sarah. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Sarah Monte Montefiore. A lot of people have read this book and loved it. It's a best-selling book, best-selling author. Got it from Larry to like see what it's all about. I didn't think it was that good. I I got like twenty pages into it and I felt like there was lots of characters and I kind of was confused because there's so many characters and I didn't really feel like any of them were fleshed out. Like I felt like you should have like have a family map, family tree at the beginning of the book and I don't know. I felt like I couldn't really care about any of the books of the characters. A lot of the characters were just <sighs> unlikable and I didn't care for them and uh, yeah I gave it like 80 pages and then I just gave up it was not for me not for me um I was about to say similarly not, not actually but yeah um I also read a Norwegian book Familien and Winter uh, uh, by Catherine Oz uh Oz Web Webos yeah uh Veselos Mm, so it's like being often being <clears throat> compared to the Cinderella. It's like the same. It's historical. Uh, it's set around a family. It's set in like a specific place. And I don't know. So this is the book that's this is the first book in a series of five books. And all the books that have gotten lots of praise in Norway, they've gotten best selling, etc., etc. I this one end up. Finishing actually, so yeah, actually it's not the end thing, but actually skim the lot of it, and I just I couldn't care, and it, all of the characters were just so uninteresting, and I did not care at all. I <sighs> just uninteresting. I didn't really, I didn't really feel like the writing was good at all. Like, of course, like the story itself looked interesting, but like the way it was executed was just so bad. So yeah. Just amazing to me sometimes how some people become bestsellers and I'm like I'm actually like read them I'm like how did you become a bestseller? Is anyone everyone else hallucinating? Are they on drugs? Are they under a spell? Have they become uh have they become uh have they become uh, yeah, how they like just like what's going on? Like everyone will loves it. Like I'm reading it like what? This is not good at all. It's just big mystery, really. I just oh, that's how it is, really. I suppose mysteries of the world, really. And uh, yeah, so that's what I read in August, except the history challenge books. And uh, yeah. Uh, all in all, I would say August was a good reading month. It wasn't wasn't that bad. I love the books I really enjoyed. And yeah, also the reading challenge. I love good history reading challenge. I love good books with it. So that was a joy to do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye.